These days, multinational companies spend thousands on researching names for new products because brand names can cause problems when a product is sold abroad. It might be difficult to pronounce or mean something rude in another language. The Chevy Nova never sold well in Spanish-speaking countries. Maybe this was because in Spanish, Nova means it doesn't go. When Kentucky Fried Chicken entered the Chinese market, to their horror they discovered that their slogan, Finger Licking Good, came out as, Eat Your Fingers Off. Cultural differences can also cause problems for advertisers. A billboard advert with three pictures, showing a dirty shirt on the left, the shirt going into the wash in the middle, and finally a clean shirt on the right, is perfectly understandable in Western culture. But if you come from a culture that reads from right to left, the message is not so clear. Similarly, a sad man with a headache, a man taking a pill, and a smiling man without a headache would create the same kind of confusion. Nike takes its name from the Greek goddess of victory, and the company logo represents the wing of the goddess. It was created by Carolyn Davidson in 1971 for just $35. These days it's instantly recognisable, even without the company name. The first Google logo was created by Sergey Brin using a free graphics program. The easily recognisable current logo was developed by graphic designer Ruth Kedar. It uses the primary colours, but instead of having the pattern in order, it uses a secondary colour, green, on the L, which is intended to suggest the idea that Google doesn't follow the rules. In 1994, Federal Express changed its name to the popular abbreviation FedEx. Besides creating a shorter brand name, they reduced the amount of colour used on their vehicles, trucks and planes, and saved hundreds of thousands of dollars in paint costs. The logo change also allowed them to save money in another way. With the old logo, purple covered nearly half of the aircraft. Without this background colour on the new design, surface temperatures of the aircraft were reduced by 40 degrees. This meant less energy was needed to cool the planes and allowed FedEx to cut back on fuel costs per flight.